Right, so if you're a subscriber of this channel for some time, you know I'll re I reviewed the Cadex Turtle, um, the first version, um, and I really liked it actually. It had a lot of things that the um, Runcam split um, didn't have. I particularly like this flexible cable, um, and I was really quite pleased with the image I got out of it with a bit of um, a bit of playing with the settings. And the thing I liked most about it is it was pretty easy to color grade, um, so you could get a relatively flat image out of it. Um, and then add the colour in in Adobe Premiere or whatever your um, <clears throat> whatever your editing suite of, of choice is. Um, sadly, mine died, um, and I don't know whether that's my fault or or the board's fault. Um, I did conformal coat, coat it, as you can see, but I messed around with my <clears throat> quad that it was on, which was the Acrobat. Um, and when I put this back together again, following some changes to it, um, basically putting on some bigger motors, um, it just simply didn't work, and it kept powering itself off. So it would, you'd power, it, you'd, you'd boot up, uh, the blue light would flash a couple of times, and then it would just, um, it would just die a death. And um, I couldn't get it to work. I even tried powering it um, via the separate pads. Um, so I contacted Cadex. Um, and explain the issue um, and they were going to send me a replacement um, but when they found out I'd done a review of the original one um, they kindly offered to send me the new V2 which is what we see here um, and there's been a couple of changes compared to the V1 which I'll go into so you get the usual stuff obviously you get the uh, the OSD board still comes with the <coughs> sort of PCB uh, mounting board and the usual cables um, but the major differences are around the, the camera itself and the board so one of the quirks of the original V1 board was that this hole was offset so you had your usual 20 by 20 mounts and then this strange one over here which was no big issue but it just meant that you could only use three mounts and then you'd kind of end up using some uh, foam or something just to sit under this end and support it um, and if you'll notice on the v2 edition that's now gone and we've got a true 20 by 20 um, mounting system um, <clears throat> the v1 didn't have a microphone which to my mind was no big loss bearing in mind the microphones on the split etc um, <clears throat> are absolutely awful and i would never want to use them anyway <clears throat> but if you do we've now got this quirky um microphone which kind of hangs via a via a wire and i don't really know what the thinking is um behind that perhaps you can kind of mount it in an appropriate place um, on your quad away from the wind noise etc um, the other major change is they've now covered the um the cable with this kind of softish protective coat or protective sleeve and i'm not sure if i like that or not the one thing i really liked about the first one is that this wire was so soft it never really got in your way it could kind of happily go wherever it needed to go and albeit obviously if you did catch it on something then it would damage easily um, on this one although this cable is still very soft it's it's got more tension in it than the obviously the unshielded version um, so I'm not sure about that I wonder whether that will also act as some sort of um, shielding for from um, from noise because the problem with all these boards and the split as well is they're very susceptible to um, electrical noise and you can often find um, you're struggling with lines in your FPV feed etc which is exactly what happened on my particular build and after trying a million different ways in the end i resorted to a tiny little lc, LC filter uh, which you can see here obviously it's covered up in um, in shrink wrap at the moment um, and that was the only way i could get rid of it and what i came to uh, conclude is that the esc i used on my initial build was just a little bit too noisy um, for the actual camera so this time round i'm planning to mount it um, and try out the new um, diason mamba a 405 stack um, which you can see here which I did a quick overview the other day um, and I've tested this guy out uh, with a normal camera and it's absolutely fine so I'll be curious just to see how much noise I get on um, this guy the other improvement and the one criticism I really had on the first version is that the lens was pretty poor 
um, you had a lot of softening around the edges and it kind of gave a lot of um, you got a lot of sort of of um, reflections from sunlight etc um, and one of the things um, that people started to do is use different lenses on it so the the run cam uh, RG25 or RCG25 I can't remember what it's called um, which some people claimed gave a better um, a better picture but you can see on the new version the v2 um, the lens is a little bit bigger um, obviously it's still the same full size um, m8 or m12 i can't remember lens but it looks a little bit bigger um, other than that the two cameras are exactly the same so there's not a huge amount to say they, they claim that the base settings are better on this than they were on the v1 which frankly were pretty poor but it didn't take a lot of time to um to, to sort those out and i think they've sort of updated a few other things like the 16.9 view etc um along the way with firmware updates um so yeah so it's going to really just a quick look what i'm more interested in is how it performs compared to its predecessor and as i said i i, I really did like this guy before mine died um, I'm hoping this one will prove um, to last a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do now is I'll flip to this installed in my Acrobat. Um, we'll go through the menu and just make sure everything's still the same as it was on the V1. And then I'll show you some uned unedited flight footage. So yeah, so major updates, better designed mounting. Um, you've got this little uh, microphone. Don't know if that's going to be any good. Obviously, you've got some bit of extra shielding on the um, on the cable, and hopefully a better lens. So fingers crossed, it's now better than the old one. Let's see. Um, if you're curious as to the old one's image quality, etc., I'll leave a link up there somewhere. Um, so feel free to click on that.
Just like a name I remember hearing 